Y'all look the same, dress the same, y'all get the same haircuts, y'all do the same thing. Do all y'all go to the same gym? Do all you guys hike on the same mountain? I mean like... <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joy Lamont, and here on my channel, we just talk about whatever it is I want to talk about whenever I want to talk about it. If you haven't already, check out my last video where I talked about my experience with being a sugar baby. It's a good one. In the video before that one, I talked about the virus and how capitalism is speeding up the progress of the virus, and that video is actually months and months ago before the virus even got to the point that it is now. So your girl was going ahead and telling the future, honey, because look where we at. So in this video, I decided I wanted to talk about and have a discussion about these dating apps why didn't y'all tell me these dating apps are so raggedy because i was trying to be a sugar baby i got on a couple dating apps so i don't actually need a man so that's why i've never tried them before my first impression with bumble is that the layout is really nice like it's really um aesthetically pleasing so the way it works is that you swipe left if you don't like someone and you swipe right if you do we're all on the app we're all swiping right okay you can't see the people who swipe you unless you pay money and get like a premium membership or unless you swipe right on them that's considered a match but the thing about it is like getting matched is like oh it just feels like a lot of pressure like a match a match this is the one but it's like dude like i've matched with 50 people so how do i know who is the match? The thing about Bumble is that the female has to be the one to message first. Like the male can't message the female. It's like, oh shoot, like is this guy sitting here like behind his phone like with bated breath waiting for me to message him? Like Bumble gives you 24 hours to message the guy. So if you don't message the guy, he disappears like into thin air. And that could have been the love of your life, gone. Gone because you hesitated, honey. So on Bumble, you can video chat, you can like talk on the phone, like audio chat, it's weird. You can of course message, like text message on the app back and forth, but it also has this feature where you can um, send an audio message, like an audio text message. So that was the main app that I was like talking to that one sugar daddy guy on. At one point, I think he messaged me like, hey, and I was like, hey, I don't know. He messaged me something, and then I responded like, oh, haha, I don't know. I was like, you could be a lunatic, you know. I said something like that, and then he like sends me an audio message he's like, uh, maybe you're a lunatic. <laughs> It was so creepy. I was like, uh, I wasn't ready to hear the timbre of your voice, sir. Maybe someone would like that feature, but I personally like did not. Okay, let's talk about the age group on Bumble. There are a lot of older guys on there. Bumble is where you go when you want to go on a picnic with somebody. When you want to go to brunch. It's like a sophisticated crowd. All in all, I gave Bumble a 3.75 out of 5 stars. I don't like that the woman has to message first and it's a lot of older guys on there. It seemed a little bit boring, you know what I mean? Okay, next app, OkCupid. OkCupid is, woo! OkCupid is where, you know, the guy who works at Advanced Auto Parts. That's where he goes to find the love of his life. The guys who work at Advanced Auto Parts don't know how to take no cute photos. It's a little dusty over there. The app itself is not really well laid out. On OkCupid, the photos were framed like in a square. And I don't know, the, the square photos were just like awkward to me. Like there was a lot of space to describe yourself on that app. Like it was a lot. I went on some uh, guys' profiles and it was a whole dissertation. And I said, excuse me, sir, I am no longer in school. There is no video chat or audio chat feature on OkCupid. It's only like text message. There was a cute feature that I like on there called the intro. Like honestly, I'm not sure if you have to pay to do this little intro message feature because I didn't try it, but I got a lot of cute little intro messages. Shout out to you guys. Hey, you know, I think you're really beautiful and you seem like you're really interesting. I give OkCupid a 2.5 out of 5 stars because the layout isn't great. The layout's boring and I think it just encourages people to just put like not their best pictures on there. Let's talk about Tinder. Let's talk about the infamous Tinder. Honestly, I just feel like Tinder's overhyped. This is probably my the most confusing app for me to make a profile when I first created my account. Um, I just didn't know what 
heck is going on? They have these little boxes where you like, you're supposed to, um, these little, like, you're supposed to like, ch you're supposed to like, see, I can't even describe it. I don't even know what I freaking did. It was just a bunch of descriptives, I guess. Like, loves outdoors, likes to be politically active. You just like, click them. And then those little things will like, show up on your profile as soon as someone like, swipes to you. It would be like, all those little things. Loves dogs, loves outdoors. And then it would like, highlight the ones that matched with you. Picking that in the very, very, very beginning was kind of like, I don't know. I feel like there's a better way that maybe they could have done that. Like, I was kind of just clicking anything because I didn't know what I was doing. Everyone's profile, literally the most they had to say about themselves besides little trait bubbles was just like a paragraph. And you can't really get a good idea of who someone is by just a paragraph. I mean, come on. There's a feature called Super Like, which I thought was cool. If you see someone you definitely want to match with, then you swipe up when they come across your picture and your profile. That alerts them that you definitely want to match with them. I don't know, the super like feature kind of felt a little bit dumb. How is a super like more of a like than a like? Like, Tinder is less of a dating app and more of a hookup app and a marketing and promotional app. I saw a lot of guys on there promoting their rap music. I was like, oh, we all out here. We all out here hustling, child. I also saw couples were on there and were hinting that they were like looking for a unicorn. Well, if you don't know what a unicorn is, I'm gonna let you Google that. But I saw a lot of that, so that was like, okay. So it felt like a party app. With all things considered, we'll give Tinder a four out of five because I do like the layout. I do like the energy over there. It's like a younger, cooler vibe. All right, last app I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about Hinge. Hinge is where you go to find a good Christian man. Hinge is the app you go to when you wanna find a hood. It's really nicely laid out. I really like the prompts. It's not too much space to talk. It's just nice and succinct where you get to just say the most important things and just, you know, keep it moving. So they don't have us sitting there reading on people's novels. But I also feel like the crowd on Hinge is just very middle of the road. It's like the guys, they look nice. Like they look like they iron their shirts. And they look like they have like a, a 720 credit score. You know what I'm saying? Like they also have a feature where similar to the intro feature on OkCupid, they have something similar. What's it called? Uh, I don't know what it's called, but you can like message on the person's profile. You don't get as much like little feedback as maybe you would on like Tinder or Bumble, but the app is designed that way on purpose because they actually really want to make matches, which I felt like was cool. Hinge is not as fun as Tinder and maybe not as down to earth as OkCupid. Overall, it's a good dating app. Like I would give that one a 4.5 out of five. I actually really like that app a lot. Just some quick thoughts on online dating as a whole. Online dating is a very, very white, Space. It was majority white men were there. A lot of white men were messaging me. I was shocked a little bit. I was like, huh? Like, I wasn't expecting that much interaction from them. I was hoping to kind of to see more just different ethnicities represented. Like, it was honestly probably like 90% like white guys. That was like kind of like boring because they kind of, they all just kind of were just like, you know, like looking the same after a while. I was like, all right, you know, once you see one Jack, you didn't see them all. Like, I don't know. Another thing is like, you don't notice how similar straight guys all are until you see straight guy after straight guy after straight guy for like a whole 10 minutes. Y'all look the same, dress the same, y'all get the same haircuts, y'all do the same thing. Do all y'all go to the same gym? Do all you guys hike on the same mountain? I mean like, spice it up a little bit. That's my advice to you guys who are looking for somebody and you on online dating, spice it up. Like we're sick of seeing the same stuff. The online dating space trivializes romantic partnerships. I do not think that the appropriate forum for finding love is through your phone. We play games on our phone. We order Postmates, we order like Burger King on our phone. We tweet like memes. I'm romantic, you guys. I'm romantic. I'm a hopeless romantic. I think it's important the way in which you find love. I just think a love story should just be like timeless. You know what I mean? <laughs> Is that really the best way to find someone is to see every guy within a 15 mile radius? You can be messaging a guy. You don't even know like if he's messaging four or five other girls at the same time as he's messaging you. I, I just think it has a high turnover rate. You know what, let's see if Google tells us. How many online dating relationships last? In February of 2020, only 3% of couples reported that they have entered into a long-term relationship or marriage with someone they first met through online dating. Hey, 
Did I call it? Did I call it? Some people aren't looking for a long-term relationship, but if you are looking for a long-term relationship, there's a 3% chance that you will actually enter into a long-term relationship. And I feel like it's because you have thousands and thousands of options of women and men right in front of you and you have to pick just one part of the amazing part about finding love is the fact that out of all the places you could have been and all the people you could have met you met this person and you and this person were there at the same time the coincidence of it just makes it so beautiful online dating takes away from that but hey if you want to try it you know we're in a pandemic right now this might be the best time to start online dating anyways that's pretty much all I have for this video. Um, if you're interested in my ebook, I will leave the link in the description box for you. If you guys are interested in two free weeks with Skillshare, click the link in the description box. Feel free to check out my music. I tinker around in my room and make songs here and there, so I'll have a link for that. If you guys like this video, can you please leave a like? Can you please leave a comment? Thank you for watching my video, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.